the science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. I'm Queen Latifah. In a bee colony, the queen bee is in charge. Back to you, Bill. Thanks. You know, the queen bee right here is in charge of the hive. She lays all the eggs to make all these worker bees, and they make all the honey that a beehive makes. I mean, you've got to be respectful of the queen bee. You've got to be respectful of the queen bee, if you know what I'm saying. Ow, 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 ooh. Hey, what are you guys doing? For all their differences, the ants hold one thing in common the ability to dig. Digging is second nature with them. In fact, their engineering is so exact, the ants think nothing of making tunnels meet within a fraction of an inch. This airplane is like an exoskeleton, see? The skin of the wing helps hold the wing together. But airplanes aren't quite as sophisticated as insects. Look at this. They have an internal support. Insect exoskeletons don't need these. No, no. Exoskeletons are way cooler than this. This is a dome house. The skin of the dome gives it its strength as well as its shape. And as strong as this dome is, it's still not really as strong as an insect exoskeleton. Domes are great for camping, though. Ah! <laughs> What do you think of this exoskeleton? Protects the soft, squishy stuff inside. I'm okay. I'm okay. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy.